bother checking your voicemail? Uh, I, you know, yeah. I don't do it immediately. I do. I At work, you worry that someone's leaving you a news tip or something, sure. so I do check that. There is a new app, though, that'll make it unnecessary. I will say I hate listening through a 40-second yes. message. Get Who's got 40 seconds anymore? <laughs> so the No More Voicemail app routes callers to a virtual number that just keeps ringing. There's no beep. <laughs> Eventually, the caller just hangs up. Voicemail is on a serious decline. Vonage says from October 2013 to April 2014, the number of voicemails delivered dropped by 8%. About 80% of callers don't even leave a voice message because they don't think anyone will listen. As may you listen to voicemails, don't of you? Of course I do. Yes, because there know, could be a could be a tip. Yeah, but you said it's on my desk phone. I sort of forget that I have a desk phone. Right. A and sometimes I do you know, go several days without listening to it, and they're important, so people do still leave them. Right. So, but yeah, I, I think this would be nice. Allie, I don't know if you feel this way. It almost feels like a burden when the voicemail pops up on my phone. Do you feel like you have to do that right away, or does it feel like a chore? Depends on who it's from. I will listen if it's the number is unknown or you don't know who it is, but when I know who it is, I usually don't listen to the message. I will say, though, that for the elderly, I think it's a good thing. Sure. I think that uh, a lot of times, like when I call my grandparents, they don't always notice that I call unless I leave a message. True, mm -hmm. true. All and, right. And feeling pretty elderly, I don't always check my text. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, all right, well, there we go. We want your feedback on this one. Do you still leave voicemail messages? Do you ignore voicemails when you do get them? Text might just do for you. So we want your thoughts. Let us know what you think on Facebook or on Twitter. Earlier, we talked about the No More Voicemail app. You can route callers to a virtual number that just keeps ringing. It's an app that makes you a bigger jerk than you already are. Oh, come on. It's terrible. Just don't answer the phone if you don't want to deal with it. Voicemail's going in the tank. A survey shows about 80% of people don't leave a voice message because they don't think anyone will listen. We wanted your feedback. Just a reminder, this is a news show. Don't editorialize. Oh, this. I am so sorry. <laughs> Linda says, I don't leave messages. I assume the person will see my number and call me back. I listen to my voicemail maybe once a week. Waste of time, just call the number. Okay. Andrew says, I would still check every voicemail I have and leave one if they don't pick up. There's a reason that it's there. What if it's someone telling you something important or emergency? If it's a paid ad or something or a, you know, telemarketer, I just stop sure. listening and delete it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's right, Andrew. It's no big deal. Uh, Terry says, I much prefer that if someone I don't know calls that they leave me a voicemail. I hate that we have lost the personal connections so much in our tech-driven society. Thank you. You think so? Yeah. You like that personal connection? I love connection? talking on the phone. I do think purposefully rerouting your phone number to a <laughs> bogus line that rings and rings and rings. Obnoxious. It's kind of a jerk move. Yes. That's all I'm saying. I would do this. <laughs>